welcome back to Healing the Nations. Today I got a real treat for you guys. Um, <clears throat> a long time ago when I started getting really serious in my spiritual relationship, you know, that progressed over time, as you know. We, as Christians, sometimes we have to spiritually mature over time. God has to work with us and mold us. And, well, it, he got me to a point where I was praying a lot. And I started taking my prayer life prayer life really seriously and I really wanted to pray for so many people in my family and all my friends but I just didn't know how that was possible I'm like man how am I gonna pray for all these people I care about there's this person there's that person oh and then there's that person oh yeah then there's that person and it just the list went on and on and I thought man how I'm not <laughs> I have to work I have to do all these other things how am I I can't pray all day because I just had a burden for so many people. Well, God showed me this very organized way to pray for people, to pray for my relatives, my friends, my acquaintances, people that I just had a burden for in my heart to see them saved in the kingdom, just like I'm sure you guys do. Well, I can tell you this method I'm about to show you, you will not learn anywhere else. It's a very appropriate method. This method saves you a lot of time, and uh, just it's just a very... Uh, appropriate way to pray for a lot of people if you have a lot of people on your list this is the method for you if you have very little people to pray for uh, you may not need this method but this method will work trust me and it will make your prayer life much smoother and you'll have more peace about it uh, knowing there's nobody that you're leaving out you know and so i have this method and here we go here's step one all right, guys, here we go. For the step one, this may not be like a huge um, prayer list for you guys, but for me, this is. And I'll tell you why it is for me. Because I pray very hard. I don't just say, okay, Lord, bless this person, help this person, moving on. Okay, this person, help this person, moving on. No, I, I really pray. Because it says in James 5, 12, that affection... The effectual, a fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So I take these people to the throne of God, to the cross, at the foot of the cross, and I give them everything I have. I give God everything I have with these prayer requests, and I really do my best here. So let me just give you a little rundown. All right, so from here on, let's just say you have these three people here. Andrew, Jack, and Steve. You have these three people here who you pray for every day. It doesn't matter, like, maybe these are your brothers and you're not married. If you were married, you would pray for your wife and your daughter or your son or whoever. You would pray for them every day, right? Well, let's just say that these people are like your brothers and your dad, who's the only living dad, Steve, whatever. Okay, and so... <clears throat> These people you don't need to worry about. They're always going to pray. So let's let's start with Frida. Let's just say Frida, you're worried about Frida. So you got to think about your seven days out of seven days or however many days you're going to pray. So let's go with seven days. Out of seven days, how many days do you want to pray for Frida? Well, I think Frida needs a lot of prayer, so I'm going to put four. I'm going to put four there. Alan, he's a Christian. And he gives me advice. He counsels me. He seems like he's a great family man. He's helping his family. He's doing well. I'm going to put him on for one day a week. And I'm really going to pray for Alan. Because I think he's doing pretty well. And you can judge these how you want to. But for me, this is how I judge it. So Fred, he needs a lot of prayer. I'm going to give him three days a week. David, uh, I'm going to give him two days a week. He's okay. Tina's in trouble, man. This lady needs at least five days a week that I pray for her. Ted, he's all right. So I'm going to give him two days a week. Reggie, uh, I'm going to give him three days a week. He's on. He's like doing okay, but you know there might be some things in his life he needs to pray for. Jason really needs prayer, so I'm going to give him four days. Chris is doing very well. I'm going to give him one. Nigel, what a fun name. He's doing well. I'm going to give him one day. Edward, yeah, he can use some prayer. So I'm going to give him three days. Mark, that guy needs some prayer. I'm going to give him six days. I mean, this guy really needs prayer. I'm going to give him six days. Carla, let's see. I'm going to give her three days a week. 
she's not doing too bad, but she could still use prayer. Wilson needs uh, some prayer, so I'm going to give him four days. Caleb, he's doing very well. I'm going to give him one. These are all fictitious names, by the way. Just picked out of thin air. Aaron definitely needs prayer. Five days a week. Eva, I'm going to give her three. I think she needs the prayer. So, okay. Now that we have what we have here, uh, we have everybody that we're praying for. And we, uh, uh, according to the severity of the prayer that they need, I put a number by them within seven because there's only seven days in a week, right? So here we go. I did it. I put a number by each one. Okay, now let me show you step two. All right, guys, here's step two. Very easy. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, so there's seven days in a week, starting with Sunday. Seventh day is Saturday. And here's our list that we just created, right? So Andrew, Jack, and Steve are three people that we pray for every day, so we don't need a number by them. They're fine. We already know. So Frida, we got four days for Frida. So we got to put Frida on four days. So I'm going to go this. I'm going to say Frida here. Frida. I'm going to put Frida on Monday. Then I'm going to put Frida on Wednesday. Oops. Frida on Wednesday. And I'm going to put Frida on Friday, skipper, skip a day or two. F for Frida. Okay, so now we're done with Frida. We delete it. All right. Now Alan. Alan's only one day, so let's put him on a blank day. Alan. Okay. All right, Fred. We got Mr. Fred. Okay. Okay. So Fred. We're going to put Fred on Thursday, and then we're going to put Fred on Sabbath. And I see we got Fred for two. What do we have Fred at? Three. So we just need him for one more day. I'm going to put Fred on the same day as Frida. Okay, so we're done with Fred. Okay, David's at two. We're going to put David you try to like put them on days where there's not a lot of people, you know. So you want to make it kind of spread out evenly throughout the week. That's how you make this list work for you the best. Okay, so how how many did we have David for? Two. Okay, so I'll take David off of. He doesn't need to be on three. Okay. I do this all these numbers based on. Uh, just you know the severity that I know I know them personally or I think man that person really needs a lot of prayer So I'll put them on for more or less. Okay, so Tina needs five. She needs a lot of prayer. So we're gonna put Tina here We're gonna put Tina Here Here And on Sabbath We still need her on one more place. So I'll put her on Sunday just like that okay so we're done with Tina and as you can see this can take a while you know okay Ted is only two so let's find a couple of days it seems like every day has two so Ted Ted but you want to put them exactly to your number that's how this stays organized okay Reggie needs three days let's find three days with only let's see we only have two on this day, so we'll put them here. We only have two on this day, so we'll put them here. And we only have two days on this day, so we'll put them here. Like I said, you want to spread it out evenly. That's how you save time. Because you want to pray for as many people as you can, right? So Jason, he has four days. So we're going to put Jason here. Jason here and Jason here 
and Jason here. So that's one, two, three, four. Four days for Jason. Okay, now Chris only gets one day. That's easy. Just pick a day where there's not that many. So looks like Thursday. What was the name? Chris. Okay. So Chris on Thursday. Nigel, number one, my English friend. Okay. By the way, I don't really have a friend, English friend named Nigel, but that's obviously an English name, not an American name. Just having fun with it. Okay, Edward, three. Okay, we only have three on this day, so we'll put Edward here. We'll put Edward here. See, we're spreading them out evenly, so we'll put Edward here. Okay, great. We're getting down on the list. Okay, Mark. He gets six days. So we're just going to go down the list and just put Mark. 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 And let's see. Mark. Mark. counting all the names so I put them out evenly. Carla. Carla here. Carla here. And Carla here. So that's three days. Yeah, you don't want to erase the names though until you put it because sometimes it's easy to forget the number. Wilson needs four days. So up here we have six. Down here we have Five. Wilson. Okay. So Wilson. 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 And Wilson. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So this will be the sixth name. Okay, Caleb gets one. So where do we find, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six here, six here, it's all six, so you can put Caleb here, Aaron, five, so we'll just put Aaron, since he's five, here, Aaron, 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 so one, two, three, four, five, okay, getting down to the nitty gritty here, Eva, three so let's see one two three we only have six here so so eva here and eva here okay so you see it's pretty pretty understandable so basically on sunday i'm going to pray for frida fred tina jason mark caleb carla and caleb then on monday i'm going to pray for Fr uh, frida david reggie edward mark carla aaron on Tuesday, Alan, David, Ed, Edward, Mark, Carla, Aaron. On Wednesday, Frida, Tina, Reggie, Jason, Mark, Wilson, and Aaron. On Thursday, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna pray for Fred, Tina, Ted, Chris, Mark, Wilson, Aaron, and Eva. Friday, I'm gonna pray for Frida, Tina, Reggie, Jason, Mark, Wilson, Aaron, and Eva. Saturday, Fred, Tina, Jason, Nigel, Edward, Wilson, and Eva. Okay. So this is all spread out based on all the numbers of that I put beside the people who I want to pray for the most or the least or what have you. All right, see you guys back on the couch. All right, guys, that's the prayer list.
uh, give it a try because when I first um, decided to do it, I wasn't sure about it. I was like, man, I don't know. And as I began to do it, this big weight lifted off my shoulders. I felt like um, I'm able to pray for all these people that I wanted to pray for so much. And, and God heard me as if I was praying for them every day. But some people needed more prayer, you know. I mean, as is expected, right? Some people need more prayer. So I gave them, I put their number down and gave them the prayer that they needed in my eyes. And I pray, be, pray before I make these prayer lists. And I change pray lists prayer lists <laughs> and I change them too sometimes I put take a name off or I put a name on or you know uh, but anyways you see how I did that prayer list and let me tell you just a huge weight lifted off my shoulders and just a blessing the blessing that I received from praying for others in this way uh, and it's just not just that it's not just about praying for other people it's about spending time with Jesus and I found that my prayer life just exploded with blessings in my my life just exploded with blessings from God and just, man, how God really um, used me in other people's lives because I really have a burden. I had and I have a burden now, but this prayer list is is one of a kind. I really feel God uh, gave this prayer list to me and then I'm able to share it with you guys and I'm glad. So give me some comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me maybe you use a similar one or maybe you're, you're using mine with a little modifications to it. That's fine. It's not a one-size-fits-all type of deal. We are um, all creatures of God, and we all have our own ways. So maybe you guys can teach me something. All right, guys, till the next time, Healing the Nations. We'll see you next time.